I collect things that my wife really hates. Um, I collect African Nubians and busts uh, made by uh, European factories such as Hagenauer, Unzengruber, Rina Rosenthal, Goldscheider. I also collect Australian art. I collect Art Deco furniture. I don't like collecting things that everyone else has in their house. Because I work as a valuer during the day and also an auctioneer, I like coming home to see uh, things that are different. And this is the first purchase I've made uh, because I was haggling at uh, a gallery in Hobart, this painting I purchased, and we're haggling on prices. I uh, haggled him down to half of what he wanted on the painting and I made him throw this in as a bonus and this got me going. <coughs> I think it's the uh, European interpretation that the bronze Africans looked uh, sort of European and the faces tend to be part Eurasian, part African and all of them had superb bodies and that wasn't in real life, it wasn't true. Hey, hey, hey. <coughs> this is my favourite piece and I'll explain why, because of the elongated lines streamlined look how thin she is as well if, if she did stand up she'd be six foot six um, lovely uh, oak base on it as well in fact the stamping is on the base if you have a look carefully the timber base was marked on this piece where some pieces would have been marked on the bronze there were other factories that produced similar style uh, bronzes uh, but they didn't mark them I've been looking for one of these mother and child ones for a long time. These are fairly scarce. I think there were less than 20 of these produced as well. The more research you do on the pieces, the easier it is to identify and the easier it is to identify when they were made as well. Ron Hagenauer still runs his shop. He's a uh, descendant from the Hagenauer family. He runs a shop in Vienna. I speak to him on a regular basis as well. But there are serious collectors of Hagenauer and uh, these African Nubians worldwide. Some of the larger pieces I have in my collection, there would have been less than 10 made of each because they were expensive to buy. You had to buy them in exclusive gift shops. You driving me crazy. I think it started off in the 20s with Josephine Baker. She was an African-American and she worked in Paris uh, in the late 20s. And I think uh, that was a fascination with them. A lot of these heads uh, were made out of different objects. So they're not all uh, bronzes, they're all mixed medias. Uh, the Goldscheider piece here is terracotta. Um, this one here, the Unzengruber head along here, she's also terracotta. Uh, some of the pieces along here, the uh, Hagenauer head, early 30s head, that's uh, walnut, carved walnut, and a uh, silvered uh, brass base. They were mostly produced between 1928 to about early 60s and the period I collect are late 30s right through to the late 50s. Things that might be 60 or 70 years old look like they might have been made yesterday. If you don't display things properly, then you can make something look that, that's worth $10,000 look like $100. You have to display it properly. My daughter really likes it. She finds it interesting. My son says I'm crazy. And my wife says it's too much of it. Uh, friends that come in and haven't been here before say, wow. I think it's an individual collection. It reflects my personality. I think I'm a conservative eccentric.